Yo, what's good, YouTube? You know what it is. Your boy Micah back in this motherfucking man. It's the red pill shit. As you know, we we back in this joint, man. Yeah, look at the move. Hey, yeah, man, you know what it is. What's good, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your boy Micah back in this little red pill thing, boy. Look at the boy. Man, that red pill give me that energy, boy. You know what it is. So you already see. We gonna talk about this OnlyFans epidemic because this shit is crazy, man. It's been going on for some years now, and I mean, I I just can't believe the level of uh, hoism that we have uh, out here. It's a oasis, <laughs> like this shit is crazy. The situation is crazy. So we have to the point that you have porn stars regretting their decisions and regretting what they did in their previous time, and. A lot of women are not taking that, opening their eyes and seeing what a person is actually saying, right? And so we're going to talk about even Lana Rose, right? And she's saying that she's ashamed of having did porn. And we're going to see what that looks like. And we're going to break down the analysis of what she's saying in this video, man, because I think it's like half and half, you know, but we're we going to see. So uh, let's get into this. Let's see what she's talking about. See what Miss Lana Rose is talking about. And she's talking about. All right. They say smart people learn from other people's mistakes. Fools learn from their own. It's very much a fool in most of my decisions. Even with all the success that you've had, you're an incredible mother now, businesswoman, you're working with Playboy, you still look back on that and you still feel ashamed. Yeah, I do. She just asked her. She just asked her. In the same sentence, you're a mother. And you don't expect as a mother to have your itties and bitties posted all over the web for anyone to see any of your child's friends who are coming up to see and be like, this this your mom? Man, that boy gonna get cut in your mama jokes. There is no way for that. <laughs> There is no way for her son to be okay. They, they they gonna cook his ass talking about, yeah, that's why you don't know who your father is. It could be any of these many long list of dudes that just, that list don't stop, bro. So, <laughs> to say, as having a son, you, you still feel ashamed. Man, some of these women, yo. On that and you still feel ashamed? Yeah, I don't like the fact that people can see me naked on the internet or can see those things happening to me. I think that it's gross. That is crazy that you can can build this whole life and you still feel ashamed. I mean, I'm I'm proud of myself and what I've done and, and I wouldn't take anything back. However, it's not like I, I like the idea that people can view that of me. I personally- Wait, 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 wait. You see, you see the problem with 304s, right? She had a husband. Well, not a husband. She had a fiance that was going to marry her, right? But then after figuring out or really understanding like, oh, shit, this a porn star, porn star. Like, oh, shit, dude didn't want to do it anymore, which I think is bullshit. I don't think that you just figure out randomly that she's a porn star. You got to already know that she's a porn star. She's already known enough that if you put in her name, Lana Rhodes, in any way, shape or form, that shit's going to fucking pop up. But you know what? It's whatever, right? The thing that's crazy to me is she's not regretting her decisions she's not regretting sleeping with a massive number of guys and the fact that she's now at this level in life where she has a success after sleeping with a multitude of guys it sends the wrong message to younger women that hey yo woman be a 304 go do whatever the fuck you want to go do because at the end of the day you're still going to make it out the other side of the tumble because you're going to have some dumbass simp that's going to pay for you and some dumbass simp that's going to be like oh it's cool that you did all this little fuckery and you was fucking and sleeping with a massive uncountable amount of dudes because you know we'll still love you if you listen to what she says she does not regret doing that shit she just regrets that it's online for people to access and see that she did that shit so that means if it was a hush in the background, it would have been cool. 
if she still got the same level of money and and certain things in the background but probably not the notoriety and not the ability for people to see it online she would have had no problem with it and see that's the thing why start off and say that she's ashamed when there is not a damn thing she's ashamed of she's a 304 at every heart and soul and man her poor son man let's see what the rest what she got say in this thing personally those videos make me want to throw up but that is why i keep talking about it and why i'm open to sharing Bullshit. because if you can just help one person it, it really does matter <laughs> that is the most contradicting that is the most contradicting thing I, I have seen in the video in a long time you sit here and you say if if i could just help one person and you sit here and you say um well this was so bad and this and that but then you're sitting at the same moment to personify that you know it wasn't doing it that was bad it was the fact that you can access and see me on the internet what the fuck <laughs> yo i i man this shit is crazy so let's let's look at some let's a little look at another delusional man out here let's let's look at this this shit right here so she don't regret only fans apparently i don't regret signing up to only fans i just think that they're trying to change their platform you know people do use it for sex work and yeah that's cool if yeah. you want to do that do that but they are trying to change it to more of a inside life of athletes like some of the biggest names Again, this is why you can't talk to no 304s. You can't talk to no hoes. You can't talk to... You can't save them! Because the shit that she... Fucking <laughs> clown activity, boy! She talking about straight fucking clown activity. Ain't no way. Ain't no way she's sitting here saying this. She's trying to justify doing OnlyFans. She is justifying doing OnlyFans right now. Shh, bruh. She is justifying doing OnlyFans and she's trying to make her work around and she's trying to make her argument to why it's okay and why it's cool. She the same type of girl that's gonna be sitting there talking about some, you know, it's kind of cool because when my kid is driving the Lambo and like I said, when your kid is driving the Lambo but slooping up a whole plethora of pictures, Man, that's gonna be the same kid that's gonna turn around and probably be on that um having sex with my mom like that weirdo shit, bruh. Like, man, hell out of here, man. I can't. Name, spiders, they have OnlyFans. They are on OnlyFans. Devin yeah, Haney right. is on OnlyFans. Um, a lot of the other female fighters that I know they're on OnlyFans. Bruh. <laughs> they don't just they don't just stop at doing something wrong. They just keep trying to go to justify it. That's that's the thing that's crazy. Something could be wrong and they'll still justify it to the end because, you know, well, this and that. And it's like, I, I mean, there is no plethora. I mean, there is no end to the plethora of women who are OK with this shit. Man, w w watch this. Let's let's roll another clip, man. But for young women. I am kind of in the middle in this gray area for that kind of stuff. I, Cause I do see as someone who was not on OnlyFans, but in that type of industry for a while, I am lucky that I did it before there was like proof. I already said it was clown activity, yo. So I ain't gonna do it again in this video, but that this is clown activity. This is justification at its highest fucking form. This is why I keep saying these 304s are going to be 304s. They just don't want to be caught being 304s. That's all it is. That's all the fuck it is. You saying you regret doing this shit and then within the same breath be like, well, it's not that I regret doing it. It's that I regret that the fact that there's proof that I did it. And it's just like, yo, if they do it in the dark, and it's not gonna be found out, they don't have no problem fucking enough dudes to amass the money that they want. They have no problem, but it's because there's proof of it. Look at what she's saying. 
she literally just said you know she's in the middle because there's a ability to have proof now so if it was the back of the day standards where no proof is being had she's cool but it is something that you do kind of have to walk back a little bit and i do still see people sometimes they're never going to say anything to me and i understand that but it is this middle ground of like do i regret it no not really do i wish i would have saved more of that money uh yes definitely and i do feel like there are ways if you want to be in that industry to do it in a safer way now than there was then but man you see what i'm talking about they're not telling women to not do it they're just telling women to do it in a different way and see that's the that's the problem with this type of shit. women are always going to try to convince women to find or make a workaround instead of just saying yo it's wrong it's it's taking pieces of you it's, it's ripping you to part right it's ripping you apart it's, it's, it's fucking up your whole structure instead of saying that and being honest and real a lot of women are not gonna do that but you know what i mean it's 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 so bad right it's it's so bad <laughs> that we got shit like this going on right so she was a missouri public school teacher and she turned to only fans to boost her income this lady ended up making a million plus on only fans so it's just like yo when you when you got stories like this happening i see why they don't give a shit i see why they just like hey, you know whatever man if i could just be like I got a million. I think there's a lot of dudes that would probably be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I'm going to go do it. Nah, we ain't doing that shit. You know why? Because we got some type of moral. That's why I say about a lot of these women, they ready to clown these dudes who are working in Target, working in Walmart, working in these certain business in industries. They ready to clown them and be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. But it's just like you you can't get back that spiritual and moral ground that you have a race and tarnish within yourself. You can't grab back pieces of your soul that you have given to yourself. You you got these OnlyFans women's right. And some of them talking about people are pushing their boundaries. And it's just like, of course, they're going to push your boundaries. You're selling yourself with no moral at all to people. So you think. You gonna sell yourself on this level and you show you have no morals and someone's supposed to say, oh, you know what? I have to have the human decency with her. I gotta treat her like a human. Fuck no, you acting like an item. You selling yourself like an item. So I'm gonna treat you like an item. You are not a human to me. You are just a piece of flesh that I'm gonna get entertainment out of, right? And it's funny because these same little simps who are paying for this shit and wanting to see these women do this shit, these women talk about PTSD and, and the back end of all this shit that occurs because they're doing OnlyFans and because they're trying to have all this fan service and their limits and boundaries are getting pushed by these fans. So they're now trying to do all this shit in the name of getting money and to keep these simps hooked. And the shit that's that's the craziest part to me is bro if you want to go see some pussy or you see some chick doing something so bad why don't you just go on you know any of these corn sites or any other stuff anywhere that you can get it for free why are you paying to to have only fans i mean that's just next level I, <laughs> I i can't understand it but you know it is what it is but these women talking about oh you know my, my boundaries are being pushed when i'm doing only fan no shit you know um yeah you got a lot of women who's talking about I i'm doing only fans because it, it it empowers me and i'm gonna be a boss bitch and you know i'm gonna be on top of that shit and i i could do whatever i want and can't nobody tell me nothing and i make my own money and i got my bag and blah 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 and then when you hit the wall and realize that you either don't have kids or a stable family or a man and you realize that this shit is online and it ain't going nowhere and people are always going to have access to it to pull it up and anywhere you go if someone just does a little bit of research here you go and now you're ashamed and now you're traumatized and now you have ptsd of going through it and now you have se uh, severe clinical depression and all this other bullshit but a lot of them ain't trying to tell y'all women this but y'all just being a boss bitch and getting your bag and then y'all don't even save it y'all don't even save it 
and these this is the dating selection that you have yo it's almost it's almost to the point where it's like out of every 10 women that you meet probably th three maybe two of them are possibly doing only fans like no bullshit and it's crazy and it's kind of disgusting <laughs> well not even kind of this shit is just straight up you know what man i said i wasn't gonna do it but you know what this shit is straight <laughs> clown activity man that's what it is that's what this shit is man they they talking about that they feel uh burned out and conflicted some of them they launch a page and in less than a year they feel burned out and conflicted and you, and you know i can make so many jokes about them feeling burnt out because i mean you keep rubbing through your your thing enough yeah you gonna feel burnt out but <laughs> you feel burnt out and conflicted and it's just like of course you do what what else did you think you was gonna get when you sell pieces of your soul for money shit is man but you know there are some people who are still left out there that will tell the truth and uh this this chick right here she was telling the truth to them but they was they was laughing at her man they were laughing at her this this shit crazy because i don't think they should have been laughing and the reason I think that they shouldn't have been laughing is because when she's telling the honest truth about what there is and what goes on and and what's the back end of it, you should never make fun of those things because those are the things that are important for people to genuinely understand. And that's why I hate when some of these women go on some of these platforms, because if you if you want to sit here and be delusional and say that the shit is OK, I'm going to laugh at you all fucking day. But if you really open it up and you trying to really talk to people and tell people, look, this shit is not what it is. You should never make fun of a person trying to genuinely help. Even if they fucked up in their life and they made those wrong decisions, if they genuinely trying to help to tell other people not to make those decisions, you shouldn't be laughing at them. But, you know, let's 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 look at this right here. Being an independent boss ass bitch stealing a million from the government put me in prison. All right, I'm a felon now and I regret every, I'm about to cry. I'm a felon and I regret every moment of it, all right? But God damn it, I should have stayed my ass home like I was in Ohio, sheltered. I look down on bitches like me when I was fucking 16 and I met, if I met myself right now, I'd be like, bitch, who the fuck is you? Bitch, I'm 27, I don't have kids. I was supposed to be And so you see, you see what she said? she looked down on women like her before and that's the problem that's 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 how jaded these women are and these women coming up right now are right and it's such an epidemic to the point where it's just like all these women you know doing the plastic the bbl the this the that and they feel because we got so many simps running rampant that out of four they feeling like a 20 and they feel like they could do whatever they want and you know what at the end of the day they just like yo if i got a little ass or i could keep my body in shape a certain manner or way all i got to do is run to only fans and i could just sell this shit and get an income so i don't i don't gotta really work i could look down on other women who ain't doing the shit and ain't making as much money as me because i'm making twenty thousand a month of only fans and i'm not saying twenty thousand a month ain't good money i mean that's some good money but is that shit really worth it? And what happens when your sex appeal and when you hit the wall and you can't make that money anymore? What happens to the rest of your lifestyle that you built around that money? And and I don't even like to say it in that capacity because then it's almost like I'm encouraging you to go ahead and do it and be okay in doing it. But just make sure you save. No, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm saying don't do that shit. But look at them. They, they just laughing at her like this shit is a joke. So you see that they they was laughing and they was like no more drinks, no more drinks. Maybe maybe that cut of the video only shows a certain portion or part to why they were laughing so hard maybe i need to go watch that whole uh fresh and fit like podcast just to see it but to my understanding what i'm seeing you laughing at this woman when she's talking real shit she's dropping real stuff you saying no more drinks why the fuck you telling her no more drinks if she's opening up and telling straight up hey yo look this ain't the life let her talk let her let her let her cook let her cook. Let her tell these these women it's it's nothing waiting for you on the other side. 
so like i said guys all the women if y'all working these little jobs and you got women who are looking down on you and they saying you ain't shit hey brother brother understand and listen to me keep grinding keep keep your grind up don't listen to no woman saying you ain't shit because there's something waiting for them at the end of the tunnel and it's not going to be something that they like at the end of the day even with lana rose she want to say you know she cool with this and she cool with that she just she's ashamed that she could be seen in a certain way no 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 there's there's going to be negative repercussions for her son as he grows and steps into becoming a teenager and then going into a man and that's the things that they're not thinking about they're not thinking about the lasting effects they're just thinking about the here and the now and then they done so guys keep your heads on the fucking swivel keep understanding what's going on and uh until then man stay on that motherfucking red pill because you know we gonna keep dropping these bangers so comment like subscribe and you know what it is i'm buying stick for us and target now like i'm a suplex when i do my two-step camo bricks be blowing booth pack let me get that booth back now i got the booth back